Well, it was January 3rd, uh, 1997, a cold uh, January morning. I was an auxiliary police officer and we got dispatched to a call on Mulford Court on the city's west side. And uh, the fire department was already there. As we pulled up, there was smoke billowing from this uh, this small house. And uh, we got out of the car and we just walked to the, the edge of the property on the street and all of a sudden we saw four or five firemen uh, pulling out a lifeless body of a, of a man, uh, putting him on the front yard, on the lawn in the front, uh, in the front yard and uh, starting to administer CPR and uh, soon thereafter uh, he was he was taken away but it was it was pretty clear at that moment that there were no vital signs and that uh, there was a good chance that, that this person was deceased uh, so uh, it, it, it certainly impacts you when you see that kind of thing uh, when you're talking about fire prevention and, uh, and and the need to make sure you have working smoke detectors and what happened and the reason that this person died is that he came home from work put french fries on the stove and then fell asleep waiting for the french fries uh, uh, to cook in oil and uh, just did didn't, didn't hear the fire, didn't smell the smoke, he was sound asleep, and uh, that's what that's what uh, ended his life. So uh, if there were smoking detectors, working smoke detectors in the house, there's a good chance that uh, that person would have been alerted, would have gotten up and gotten out of the house and would still be alive today.